today I'm going to show you how to give your students access to student rooms that they've previously interacted with. So in the free version, all you have to do is go over to Magic Student, go up to your student rooms, and then select a room that you want your students to be able to access again. So I'm going to go to this first period ELA room. So once in the room, I'm going to pick a student that I want to give access to. So I'm going to go here to Caleb, I'm going to scroll all the way over to the right, and I'm going to click the three dots. From there, you're going to select Student Join Info. What this will do is create a unique link just for that one student to access the room that they've already interacted with. Once the student clicks on that link, it brings them right back into that student room. If a student wants to continue a conversation with a chatbot that maybe they had in a previous class period or a different day, they can go over to Output History. And from here, they can continue the thread of any of those conversations that they would like. So if the student wants to continue the conversation with Reina, they can click Continue Thread and they can get started right where they left off. Now, if your district or campus has the enterprise plan and your students have single sign-on, this is what their dashboard might look like. So here, your students can actually go to My Rooms and they can access any of the student rooms that they've already previously been invited to. And these rooms will stay here until the teacher deactivates them. So if the student wants to go to this room here for academic language support from October 4th, they have access to all those tools and they can go to the output history to go back to some of those previous conversations that they had earlier in the school year. And that's all you have to do to get your students back into previously used student rooms. Thanks for watching and enjoy Magic Student.